Okay, we are in the process of working on a saxophone that needs to be basically dual with some serious work. <clears throat> we'll be repadding the entire saxophone. This is an Armstrong, by the way, built in Alcart, um, alto saxophone. And if we look at it, we've already taken off the three bell keys. Let's take a quick look at what we're looking at for what kind of work we have to do. First of all, it's a little hard to see in there, but that probably is going to need to be cleaned out. As you can see, there's a pretty good amount of junk in there, especially down here in the bend. And, and I have a brush that will do that very nicely. We'll soak it in some slime away after we strip off all the keys and um, use the, uh, the brush to clean it out. When we take off the keys, as I say, we've already taken off the three bell keys. One of the things that we do when we take off these keys is make sure to replace the pens. This is a, this is a rod. And um, right here we've got three little screws that we've also put back in. We want to put them back in the hole that they came out of so that we know where they came from and so that we don't lose them. Um, easiest way to not lose something is to put it someplace where it's not going to come out. And that's what we've done here. Here we've also uh, replaced the rod right here. This saxophone also has a dent right here at the bottom. There it is. And we'll be taking that out as well. It's pretty easy to access. We'll get it through this hole here and be able to reach in. And we'll get it, be able to get it through the tone hole here as soon as we get that key off. So that's our project. Uh, we'll just be stripping down. Today we're just stripping the whole thing down and getting all the keys off. And oh, when we take the key off, we want to label the key so we know which key goes, goes where. Here, what, I, what I have been using is medical tape. Take a little piece of medical tape, this stuff here, there it is, uh, pull it off, wrap it around the shank of the key, and then label the key. And while you might not be able to read that, it says low B. Okay. <clears throat> and that tells me what key it is. These keys, by the way, as we take off the old pads, here are some of the old pads here. Um, these pads pretty much had it. And so we'll be replacing those pads. This is why we're doing this. <clears throat> these are have the Selmer plastic tone booster in the center. So we'll want to match those up. <clears throat> pads are measured on the inside of the cup, the inside diameter of the cup. We would take our caliper and turn it on and open that up a little bit. And they're measured in 30 seconds. So we have it set for measuring in 30 seconds. And we would come up here and just measure the inside of this particular key. Okay, and that's telling me it's 1 and 25, 30 seconds. <coughs> we'll convert that um, to, to, 30, um, to 57, 30 seconds, and that's how the pads are sold in the, that kind of sizing uh, from Allied Supply. One other thing about these keys as I'm taking them off is that somebody did a pretty good job with this last time. Um, what they used was the French shellac sticks. And I have one right here. This is a stack of uh, French shellac and we just heat the cup as we showed in the uh, video on changing the pad for the clarinet. and. You heat the cup and you melt 
the shellac in there and then the pad goes right in. You can see here on the back of the pad, sort of, and again let's see if we can get some lighting going on here. You see on the back of the pad here where they did use the shellac to put the, the pad in. It's a much better solution for pads than the micro cement. Um, micro is good stuff. Micro pad and cork cement is good stuff and I use it a lot. And here's a, here it is right here. <coughs> but it works best for corks and for foot corks. As we go through this, the other thing that we'll be doing is we'll be taking off the foot corks on the keys and replacing those. Here we have, um, as soon as I get it into the view, there it is. There's that foot cork right there. That's going to come off because it's pretty worn out and it has to be replaced. Those corks are then used later on in the regulating process and we'll do a little short video on that. So this is our project for today. Like I say, right now we're just taking the keys off. Um, project for the week, actually. We're taking the keys off. And as you can see, there are a lot of keys on a saxophone. And it's a pretty fun stack to try to take it apart and then put it back together again. We'll also be replacing bumpers. Um... <clears throat> Each one of these cages right here, if we turn this, you can see just inside the cage, here it is there, here is a red felt bumper. And we'll be replacing those. Um, there's a couple of other felt bumpers. We have one over here. We have a felt pad right in there. Um, and we have, I think, a couple more. We have two for the cage that goes up here as well. And those have to be replaced again. Um, there's one down here that you can see this one really clearly. That, that red felt bu bumper right there is going to have to be replaced. So that's our project. And we'll do a few videos as we go along.